Hi everyone and welcome back to some more F1 2020 here on this channel. I'm KBG Guna here. Now I'm just about to jump into the one shot qualifying around the Vietnam circuit. The new circuit they added on the calendar this year. And yeah, I just, I'm not going to say anything. It is a tough circuit. Anyway, let's get straight into the qualifying. Right, we're just about to jump into the one-shot qualifying around the Vietnam circuit. And I'm just going to say, in your career, at the start, when you've got a car that's not uh, fully upgraded, you're going to struggle around here. I'm going to just put it out there because I struggled around here really badly in the practicing. I'm not sure how I'm going to do in the one-shot qualifying, but I'm just going to give it my best. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Right, so here we go with the one shot qualifying around the Vietnam circuit. Now, the one thing that my car really struggles on at the moment is understeer and the downforce. And this circuit is just not the right circuit for my car at this stage. And already oh, struggling. And just hold it. And just trying to get those corners fast and flowing. It is going to be really tough. And we're down to P6. It's not too bad, but I'll probably lose a lot of places through here. This is another area I'll just really struggle on. And you've got to try and stay off those curbs as well. Just keep it steady, keep it steady, keep it steady. Almost hit the wall there, and we weren't too bad through there. But in the practicing, I was just off the pace in every single test. So, yeah, I was finding it extremely tough definitely need to work on the uh, downforce on the car I think that's where we're gonna get absolutely killed in this race so if we can just get a top 10 that would be an amazing start right so here we go this is where I kept on crashing in the practice just trying to keep this fast and flowing and just that lack of downforce really does affect you through here and we're not doing too bad at the moment. This is actually not a bad effort. But I didn't do many tests with the soft tyres. So that is coming into effect. Oh, and that is not bad. Wow, that actually was okay. I, I'll tell you the truth, guys. I was hitting the walls a lot more in the practice. And that's another thing. 14 laps. I, I don't think I'm going to end up finishing this race without sustaining some damage. And uh, I was very surprised at that time. I was expecting to be a little bit lower down. But anyway, I'm going to take it. I'm not going to complain. Let's get into today's race and see if we can at least finish in the top 10. I think it's going to be extremely hard. But our teammate, I think, uh, needs to step up as well. So let's get straight into it. The Formula One Circus has arrived in Southeast Asia once more as we usher in a new era and get ready to go racing here in Vietnam. A lap of Hanoi Circuit then, 3.4 miles around the Vietnamese capital. A number of the 23 corners take their inspiration from other great circuits, hopefully creating plenty of passing opportunities. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? There are three main things to worry about there, Crofty. Positioning, awareness and discipline. First, you have to put your car in a bit of space and make sure you have room to react to what the others are doing. Then you have to watch your mirrors and listen to the sounds around you to get a sense of where everyone is. And finally, just don't get too greedy. Just because a gap exists doesn't always mean you should go for it. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Verstappen, Leclerc, Carlson and Albon. Vettel, Sainz, Ricardo, and Lando Norris, Ocon, Perez, Lance Stroll, and Kvyat, Gasly, Giovinazzi, Roman Grosjean, and Kimi Raikkonen, Schumacher, Magnussen, Russell, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. 
Right, so here we go with today's race. So we're starting in fifth position. That's a good strategy. So yeah, that's about right. Pack pitting on lap six. Can we get a good start into that first left-hander? Let's put it in rich mix. We've got two Mercedes. We've got a Red Bull in front of us. We've got uh, Leclerc to our left. And that is an actually a good start. Verstappen go. Loads of wheel spin there. That really slowed him down in both behind the two Mercedes and oh, that isn't too bad and Bottas is the one that got away really well and uh, we just got to be careful in these early corners and we know we're not going to be as quick as some of these other cars oh, just caught the curb there almost went into the wall but managed to steady ourselves we got Verstappen coming down the right side of us he's definitely going to be quicker than us do we let him go and I think he's going to go into that corner let's not go wheel to wheel let's just let him go and uh, we just got to avoid as much contact as possible. I want to get through this race without any damage because we're very slow around it anyway. And that's not too bad through there. We've got to use our power mode as much as we can. Slipstream because we know our car's not very good in the straight line. And that's where we're going to get overtaken a lot, I think, on the straight. Because they have got one hell of a straight on the circuit. Right. Let's see if we can just go into this corner in behind Verstappen. Can we just try and stick with him as long as possible? I mean, the two uh, silver arrows have just disappeared. Both Mercedes are gone. And that would be probably the last we see of them two. But can I stick with the Red Bull? I'm trying my hardest. This is the best first lap, but we're trying to stick with Verstappen as long as we can. Just don't have the downfall. So I'm really fighting with the car through here. Don't feel confident to push it. But uh, this has been almost hit the wall. That's what I was doing a lot in the practice. And we've got to try not to do that. But we managed to survive the first lap. We've got the Ferrari behind us and Leclerc. And he's going to be up to speed very soon as we just overshot that corner. Oh, just a bit of contact there as we turn in. That was totally avoidable. And we've got a warning collision with Leclerc. I could not do anything about that. Hopefully we haven't sustained any damage. But he's probably going to come past us now. Yeah, he's going to come past us. He's in our slipstream. Look, just can't beat those cars in a straight line. But oh, it just sent us out a little bit wider. And we've been warned about corner cutting. I just couldn't turn into that corner. He was there. Sometimes you have to just bail out of those sort of situations and avoid because I don't want to I don't want to bash up the car too early I want to get into the race and at least have a chance of finishing but uh, we know that Ferrari is going to get us at some point and I think oh Vettel's behind him as well so it's two Ferraris are going to come flying past here comes Leclerc he's going to come in the inside we knew he was going to attack us at some point and that is a really nice overtake there and he is passed nothing we can do about it we just don't have the speed and we're down to P5, which was the place that we started in. So we can't complain. And we're just going to try and stick with these cars as long as we can. If we can get to the pits, at least in the top 10 position, that gives us half a chance. I will take top 10 if that's the position I finish in. But I am still struggling with the car. And I just hope once I've got a season under my belt, I've done a few more laps around here. I've actually managed to... You know have a setup I, it may things may be different but at this moment in time I'm just fighting with the car and it's just a struggle and also I don't want to be using the line as well uh, I know a lot of people have commented that already but I did I've never raced around this circuit this is just a first experience and I think a lot of people that have jumped onto this circuit on in their career have struggled around here the only good thing about uh, for me I didn't get bad weather <laughs> if it rained it would have been ten times worse Right, so we have got Albon behind us. Another one that's going to be pushing to try and overtake. But I'm trying to hang on to Leclerc as long as I can. Bottas is leading the race. Just feeding the power on around that corner. That's one corner I did um, lose control quite a few times. So I'm just trying to be very, very careful. And if uh, that means that I get to the end of the race, and I've dropped quite a few positions, but I get some points on the board. I, I definitely would be happy with that. It's all learning. Right, heavy on the brakes. Oh, just leaving the brake in a little bit too late there. Almost went straight into the back of the Ferrari. And I think Albon almost went in the back of me. And who have we got? So Albon's got Vettel. So Vettel's dropped down. He was, he was originally just behind uh, Leclerc. So I don't know what happened there. 
but uh, we know them two are going to be pushing very hard. As I'll just try and feed it through here. Feeling a little bit better now. I'm starting to get into a little bit of a rhythm on lap three. And the tyres are bedded in. And this, who's in front of Leclerc? So Verstappen's still not far ahead as well. So they're not totally losing touch. Um, the only cars we have really lost touch with are the uh, Mercedes. But what Hamilton and Bottas are probably having their own battle up front. So just try and get it turned in. Let's be careful. Just slowly feed the power on again, keep that tight. And that was much smooth around there. Not the quickest, but that will do. Now here comes Albon. Is he gonna try and come past? He's in our slipstream, probably gonna use the, his power, and he is past. Look at that, easy as you like. And we've dropped another place, but we've got to accept. We just don't have the car at the moment. And there's no point at just been too defensive because the AI on this game can be quite aggressive and they will just shunt you out of the way. So let's be mindful of that. And here comes Sebastian Vettel. Wow! Just shot past. Is he gonna go? He's gonna go for Albon as well. He's going straight past Albon. Wow! O2 overtakes there. That Ferrari has got some power, but is Albon gonna fight back? I think he is. Oh my god, wow, Vettel, what the hell are you doing? Is he going to go for it? Them two going wheel to wheel through there. And I'm getting amongst the battle. This is going to be a three-way battle through here. We don't want to be going too close through here. This is going to be very, very scary. Oh, I just had contact from behind. Who was that? Uh, Science has just clipped the back end of my car through there. Wow, that was, that was interesting. I don't know where he thought he was going. There was no room for an overtake there. Hopefully I haven't sustained any damage. Nothing's come up yet. But yeah, I definitely felt that from behind. And uh, this has been a quite a feisty race And we're, as we go into lap five. So we're not far away from pitting. It's been quite exciting so far. I'm sitting in P7, which is not bad. I thought I'd lose more places than that early on. So if we can stay in this position, but, uh, before we pit in, that would be absolutely amazing. But uh, let's see if we can manage that. Caution, caution. Slow down. Oh, yellow flag. Oh, has there been a crash up ahead? Still flashing yellow. And is there anyone? Oh, oh the Ferrari. Leclerc's out. And virtual safety car is out. Oh, there you go. Leclerc, that's the second race. Since we started this career, he has gone out. And we're ready to start racing again. So let's get up to speed. And we are sitting in P6. And oh, just caught the curb there. Oh, mistake. Wow. Hopefully we just clipped the wheel. I don't think we hit the wing. Again, that was a close call. We've got Stroll behind us and Ricardo, And we've got to pit the next lap. So... Let's try, oh, oh, the tyres don't feel great. Kind of a bit of a spin up there, let's be careful. Let's not uh, end up like Charles Leclerc and out the race. Let's just try and keep it steady. I think I'm gonna get attacked here again. And Stroll is putting, trying to get a move on here and he's going down the inside into the braking. Can we just hold him off? Oh, a bit of a tight angle onto the kerb. Ah, that was a bit of a risk there. And that's what I mean about being defensive and being close to making mistakes. Uh, but I really didn't want to lose a position there, especially just before I'm just about to pit in. So let's just try and hold him off. And I actually don't know where the pit lane is. This this is a first for me, guys. So I didn't even check that. I didn't even think of that. So hopefully it gives you an indication where it is because I have not got a flipping clue. I'm going to have a look at the map. And oh, no, 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 no. Oh, flipping neck In the inside, Stroll is straight past. Just when I thought I was holding him off. Just don't carry enough speed through those corners. All right, it's coming through here. Where's the pit lane? Where's the pit lane? I know it's somewhere around here. And I think it's over there. There it is. Into the pits. There we go. Right, so here we come out the pits. Hopefully we don't lose too many places, but we won't find out.
because obviously other cars will have different strategies. So we've come out behind Latifi. Let's see if we can just latch onto him. And he is a, a back marker, so hopefully we've got a little bit more pace than him and a better car, so we will see. I'm not sure whether he's pitted yet. So let's see if we can just catch him up through here. We've got some ERS, so we might be able to just power past him. Too bad through there. Stick it, stick it on, and here we go with the overtake. Can we get past him? And we should get, should get some DRS as well. There we go. And go down the outside. Got to try and make this pass before we start to break. Heavy braking. Just take a bit wider. And have we made the overtake? Because we've got to get these mediums. Yes, we've cleared him, and that is a good overtake too. We've got Russell in front of us. Not sure whether he's pitted either so let's see if we can just try and maintain a decent pace so we don't lose too many places because we went into the pits in I think p6 didn't we p6 or p7 so if we can stay in those positions that would be fantastic and again just struggling to turn this car in definitely needs a setup definitely need to focus on upgrades on this car Let's see if we can get ourselves in a good position. Vettel is stopping now. These mediums are taking a little bit longer to bed in, which is a bit frustrating. Don't feel as good as the, the uh, softs. But, uh, we've got no one around us at the moment. And, oh, we've got a teammate in front of us. Uh, he obviously hasn't pitted yet. So Schumacher's... He needs to step it up. But I've been told by a few people in the comments that um, to save up some money to buy another teammate. So that might have to happen. We will see. Just live in the hope he gets better. So coming towards the end of lap eight. And we've got a few laps to go. It's going really well. Let's see how many places we've lost as we come back round got a bit of a train of cars in front of us here I think they are back markers they haven't pitted yet the gap to the car ahead is still through here seconds. I think once I've got the the hang of this circuit and the car to race around it I think this will be a good circuit but at the moment it's it it is a ball lake it really is Oh, there he goes, teammate in the pit, so he hasn't peered yet, so we're going to jump a few places here. We're sitting in P13 at the moment. So let's see where we're going to be as we come round for lap 9. Five laps to go, and we are... Oh, P5! P5, so who was in front of us then? So, oh, there comes Verstappen! Oh, he came flying out the pits there, so we're sitting in P6. Oh, if we only had we had come out in front of him and who have we got behind we've got N Norris behind us oh here he comes what the hell look at the pace well, that was un well that was surprising I wasn't expecting him to fly past us that quick but there you go so Norris has got past as well but uh, let's not give up we might be able to take that place back let's use a bit of ERS but uh, yeah I just think our car is just very, very slow. Um, some circuits you didn't, didn't really notice it. I mean, around um, the last circuit, it, you know, it wasn't too bad. There was a lot of tight corners and uh, it wasn't uh, so many straights. But uh, Bahrain, you know, it wasn't too bad. But here it's just getting exposed. It really is struggling. Just trying to push. Uh, Norris, don't think he's going to be able to get past Verstappen, so we still have got a chance here of taking that place back. We've still got a bit of extra fuel, so we're running in rich mix at the moment. And again, just struggling to turn this car in as we come towards the end of lap nine. So we haven't got many laps to go, four laps. 
this is going to be an interesting finish. Five laps of fuel remaining. We've got Stroll behind us, and he's already overtaken us once. Okay, what's that, Ocon behind? So, let's just try and keep them at bay. And we're starting to lose a bit of ground now. Norris is man managing to get away now. Just don't, as soon as you get on the straights, they just power off, don't they? Again, not the quickest through here. Just a lack of downforce. I just feel the front end sliding around. Just almost hitting the wall there again. Got to be so careful coming through there. That would be the end of us if we sustain any damage. Because I did hit the wings a couple of times in the practice. So, and hold on the brakes. And I keep braking a little bit too late for that turn, but just managing to get away with that. So if we can just get to the end in P7. That's, that's points on the board. A bit ropey through there. But I definitely think we are doing okay. And that's not too bad through there. I think these tyres are starting to bed in a little bit now. Hopefully they will last the rest of the race. Ooh, again, really tight, hitting the wall. So close. And it looks like all strong has been overtaken. So this is an interesting one. Again, lap 11. Just trying to get through there as quick as possible. And we have got some heat behind us now. And is he going to come up the inside? Oh, into this. I hate it when they try and overtake there because that really throws me out. And onto the curb. Let's just keep it steady, keep it steady, steady, keep it steady, keep it steady. And, oh, again, just being close to hitting that wall. And I think we're going to get overtaken. We just can't keep anyone behind us without... I think we've got a lot of ERS. He's going to have DRS as well. And it's just so strong, you can't stop them. Once they get in that DRS zone as well with the overtake, you cannot stop them getting past. We saw what Vettel did. He overtook two people. So overpowered. Just don't have it. And now we have got... Stroll and Kvyat behind us and we're going to be dropping places like flies if we don't start getting up to a decent pace we're not at the same level we were at the start of the race just trying to push this car as much as I can trying to concentrate doesn't help that it's a very hot day today I'm literally sweating whenever I use my steering wheel at this I mean it's like the afternoon it's about 20 odd degrees outside. I struggle because it gets so hot. We're leading our teammate by so hot. Seconds. It's coming towards the end of the race. Come on, we can finish in this position surely. Eighth. Don't want to lose any more places. Don't know how many points that's going to be, but there's still points on the board. Again, just trying to be careful through there use the rest of the ERS we haven't got much left we have got a little bit of extra fuel that we could burn off right at the end and just a little bit better through there just trying to maybe we can get him through there and oh just clipping the wall there slightly just got to be careful and again oh no we just hit the wall there bloody hell Oh no, I think we just I think we just sustained some damage. Let's just have a look. Hopefully not too bad, but we definitely hit the oh the front wing slightly damaged. Oh that's not gonna help us. And that's gonna really slow us down towards the end of the race. Oh that's so frustrating. Final lap of the race. Right, one more lap to go. And we are struggling. That front wing is causing us major issues. Even less turning than we had before. And Kafia is pushing hard. OK, 
kind of have to try and find something here. Can't afford to lose any more places. I think if we lose one place, we'll probably lose two because I think Stroll was on his case. But uh, yeah, this is a real battle and it's been quite a tense race. Really good start. There's been a lot of contact uh, between, not just between uh, the cars with me, but I've seen other cars battling and I think Leclerc had a moment. I think we came wheel to wheel, but I don't think that's what put him out the race. I think it was engine failure, but um, yeah, it's been a really good one. We had Stroll clip the back end of our car and I don't think he sustained any damage, but um, he's dropped off. Flipping Egg has hit the side again. Really starting to make mistakes. So coming towards the end. We'll just got no pace. The tyres are going off as well. Come on. Don't lose it now. Eighth position would be like winning a race for me round here. Never was at the pace on the. Never had good pace around this circuit at all from the start. It's just been a battle. The pitting was good. As we come to the final corners. And look, we're going to be any more laps and we would have been overtaken, but we're going to take eighth. So there you go. Eighth position, guys. I'm not going to complain at that. And I can wipe, wipe the sweat off my head. And that race is over for a season. Thank God. Here we are then, a fantastic Vietnam Grand Prix, and what a performance it was from our race winners today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I'd say it was down once again to good, consistent driving, nailing the corners, working to the track conditions, and perfecting the team's strategies. They got all of these things right today, and the results speak for themselves. So after a magnificent race, we can now see the drivers making their way to the podium. Once again, it's the Silver Arrows who take top spot. A well-earned victory for Mercedes. Right, so that is another round over, guys. And that was so a really, really tough test. Uh, Lewis Hampton gets a win. Bottas in second. Vettel in third. Um, where did our teammate come? Let's have a look at that. And we will look at the standing as well. And we will look at some of the highlights. So let's have a look where Schumacher came. He's got to be happy with how he's done here this weekend. It's time to see how there he goes, 20th. Just not really performing for the team. Uh, but we're keeping up the points, so I'm happy with our performance. Let's have a look at the standings. And we are in sixth position on 20 points. That is not bad for my team. And fifth in this construction. So we're not doing too bad. That is very, very promising. And we're only going to get better. But let's have a look at the highlights. Right, let's have a look at the highlights. Now, it was a really good start from fifth on the grid. The Silver Arrows, the Mercedes were gone from the start. They didn't have any problems. Hamilton and Bottas had their own battle. Uh, Verstappen got a good start as well, but he didn't manage to push me out in that first corner. I just managed to slip past him. And uh, I think uh, Albon was having a fight with uh, the Ferraris behind. But it wasn't long before they get on, got on the straights and they started to show that they had the superior power and I just could not keep any of them at bay. Like with that ERS overtake on those straights when you've got lack of uh, straight line speed as well and I was struggling but there was a moment through here where look at that contact by Science. He just clipped the back end. There was no room for an overtake there. I don't know what he was doing. Lucky that didn't spin us out or cause us any damage but I was just struggling so hard to try not to hit the sides. I was making so many mistakes. I do apologise for that. It's just lack of practice around this circuit. And um, I did try my best. I did put in some of the practice, but it's, it just wasn't enough. And I think it was more that I was having an issue with the car than the circuit at times. 
but even here so many cars were just forcing me out where I didn't want to be onto the curb where I just felt uneasy and I was just losing pos positions after positions and I was really annoyed that I lost the position just before I pitted because that, I felt if I got in then I wouldn't have, have come out where I did and I could have even jumped in front of Verstappen but I did come out um, of the pits and I did try and push really hard for a moment and I was gaining a few uh, places and, and putting in some faster times but then I go and make a mistake at the, towards the end of the race um, I clipped that front wing and from then on it was it was just too tough to hang on and eighth was the best I could achieve and again like I said at the start of the race I would have taken top 10 and that's what I got so I cannot complain uh, let me know your thoughts guys it, if you've uh, raced on this circuit what you think of the circuit I mean yeah, it's a very, very tough one. I just don't get any flow from it. Not with this car. Um, maybe I'll try it offline. You know, you know, just one of the fully upgraded cars to see how I do. I bet I'm probably a couple of seconds quicker, but yeah. Right, time to head to the team headquarters because we definitely need to try and have a look and see if we can improve any of the facilities of our team. Hopefully we've got the funds. We might even take on another sponsor if we can do that. And also I want to take this opportunity to quickly have a quick chat. Hopefully by the time I upload this video I would have put a post on my community page. Um, I've been on YouTube for quite a while and this is something that's obviously I've been wanting to say for a long time. Um, I'm always trying to obviously I always take your feedback um, I always appreciate all your support but one thing I have noticed about my channel is um, my view count is just so much lower than it was even three years ago and I know that obviously YouTube's getting bigger there's more channels out there that sort of cover the same stuff but I'm thinking of maybe focusing on just a certain type of games to just close in on that audience uh, so I've say even if I only had 11,000 subscribers I'd get more views from those videos that I post rather than trying to cover so many different games different types of racing and barely getting any views because no one knows what you can upload next just trying to just get all the information and delivering it out there to exactly what you want to see now I was thinking about maybe doing more live streams and not so many walkthroughs this is why I need to um, get your feedback now guys um, because I want to push the channel forward but it's really hard uh, when you don't know what mistakes you're making and the reasons why you're not getting the views that you think you're going to get because like anything if you, if you keep on doing the same things you can't expect a different result so I just want to say that I'm um, sorry I've talked through obviously it all changed and all those things but we've got an invitation on events we'll probably do that at the start of the next episode uh, but just let me know in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Please don't forget to smash the like button because that's always important. Share the video because that's also important for a small channel. And I will see you very, very soon.